October 23, 2021, this morning the bright moon is near the Pleiades star cluster. Mercury is making its best morning appearance. In the evening sky, Venus, Jupiter and Saturn are easy to spot. Chart Caption, 2021, October 23, the moon is near the Pleiades star cluster and to the lower right of Aldebaran. By Jeffrey L. Hunt. Chicago, Illinois, Sunrise, 7.13 a.m. CDT, Sunset, 5.57 p.m. CDT. Check local sources for sunrise and sunset times for your location. Morning Sky An hour before sunrise, the bright moon is in the western sky. It is 4.4 degrees to the lower left of the Pleiades star cluster and over 10 degrees to the lower right of Aldebaran. Block the moon's glare to see the background stars. Chart Caption, 2021, October 23rd, Mercury is making its best morning appearance of the year. 15 minutes later, bright Mercury is over 8 degrees up in the eastern sky, making its best morning appearance of the year. It is 1.9 degrees to the lower right of Porma. Use a binocular to see the star. Arcturus is about the same altitude as Mercury. The star is low in the east-northeast, over 30 degrees to the left of the planet. Evening Sky Chart Caption, 2021, October 23rd, Venus is in the southwest after sunset, 4.3 degrees to the lower right of Theta Ophiuchi. Brilliant Venus, Saturn, and Jupiter are easily found after sunset. Evening star Venus is low in the southwest in front of the dim stars of Ophiuchus. At 45 minutes after sunset, Venus is about 11 degrees up in the sky. It is to the upper left of Antares and 4.3 degrees to the lower right of Theta Ophiuchi, Theta off on the chart. Use a binocular to spot the star. The planet's evening movement compared to the stars is easy to notice from one night to the next. Chart Caption, 2021, October 23rd, bright Jupiter and Saturn are in the southeastern sky after sunset. Look for Fumalot to the lower left of the Jovian giant. Jupiter and Saturn move slowly compared to Venus' quick steps in the star field. The giant planets are slowly moving eastward. Jupiter's retrograde ended five evenings ago and Saturn's ended on October 10th. Jupiter is slowly picking up eastward speed but Saturn is slowly closing the gap on the Jovian giant. Find them in the southeastern sky when Venus is low in the southwest. Bright Jupiter is about one-third of the way up in the sky in the south-southeast. Saturn is over 15 degrees to the right of the brighter planet. During the next several evenings watch Jupiter move eastward compared to Deneb al -Gidi. The star Fumalot is to the lower left of Jupiter, above the horizon. Detail daily note, one hour before sunrise, the bright moon, 17.0 d, 93%, 40 degrees up in the west, is 4.4 degrees to the lower left of the Pleiades star cluster and 10.4 degrees to the lower right of Aldebaran, Alpha Tau, M equals 0.8. Use a binocular to see the stars in this bright moonlight. 15 minutes later, Mercury, M equals minus 0.6, is over 8 degrees up in the east-southeast, 1.9 degrees to the lower right of Porma. During the early evening hours, Venus, Jupiter and Saturn are easy to locate. At 45 minutes after sunset, Venus is nearly 11 degrees up in the southwest, 4.3 degrees to the lower right of Theta off. Saturn is over 28 degrees up in the south. Bright Jupiter, 15.3 degrees to the left of Saturn, is nearly 29 degrees above the south-southeast horizon. Two hours after sunset, both planets are in the south. Saturn, less than one-third of the way up in the sky and west of the meridian, is 1.4 degrees to the lower right of Upsilon cap. Jupiter, nearly 33 degrees up in the south and east of the meridian, is 3.7 degrees to the lower right of Mu Cap, 2.0 degrees to the upper right of Deneb al Gidi, and 1.4 degrees above Nishira. The moon is rising at this hour. Take a long look at the star field with the planets before the bright moonlight washes out the dimmer celestial wonders. As midnight approaches, the moon, 17.7d, 88%, over 40 degrees up in the east, is 5.7 degrees to the upper left of Aldebaran. Jupiter is over 16 degrees above the south-southwest horizon. Saturn is less than 4 degrees above the west-southwest horizon, and likely not visible.